The iPhone 15 series has been introduced, along with further details on features and price, but it may not be what you're expecting. So, for the first news of the day, we've acquired more information on Apple's massive 3 nanometers chip order for the A17 Bionic, and these first-generation 3 nanometers chips are expected to deliver 35% greater power efficiency than the chips used in the A16, as well as considerable performance increases. Shrimp Apple Pro has tweeted a leaked benchmark for the A17, which shows a single-core score of 3019 and a multi-core score of 7860 on Geekbench 6. In Geekbench 5, we too get 2317 for single and 6750 for multi. To put this in context, the previous A16 scored 2523 for single core and 6396 for multi core on Geekbench 5, and the A16 was already much ahead of every other phone. The iPhone 15 Pro models will receive a bit of a price boost this year, according to analyst Jeff Poo. He cautions in his latest report that the Pro models will be more costly owing to multiple hardware upgrades, which include the titanium frame, solid-state buttons and taptic engines, the new A17 processor, and this new periscope zoom lens up for enhanced optical zoom. All of these new upgrades will result in a bit of a price increase for the new iPhones, but the iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus will be unaffected and should stay at the same price as last year. Further evidence suggests that the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max will have new Sony LiDAR scanners. Ming-Chi Kuo already suggested it, and other sources, such as Barclays analysts, are now confirming the same. The new LiDAR scanners are more efficient than the present ones, which means that not only will we receive improved performance from the scanners, but they should also enhance overall battery life. Due to more expected upgrades, Apple is working extra harder this year to ensure the success of the iPhone 15. This year's emphasis will be on the Pro and Pro Max to drive premium iPhone sales, and according to a recent report, 25% of existing customers haven't updated their iPhone in four years, so Apple must ensure that they offer them a cost to do so. Both the iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro Max now include significant upgrades as well as design tweaks. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So without being said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.